Gucci. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode. And I know that I typically don't do unboxings on the channel, unless they're kind of Apple stuff, because everyone tends to have them at the same time. We got something in the mail the other day. That's right, this box is, in fact, from OnePlus, and I'm super stoked. I think this unboxing should technically be early and I don't see why I can't as I got it in the box. This is the brand new OnePlus 5T, which is coming out later in November. So heck, I thought, why not? It comes in a sweet box. Might as well do an unboxing and share this experience with all of you. Let's get right into it. So the OnePlus 5 was actually, whoa, as we get this open, one of my favorite phones of this year. It's probably one of the best budget options that you can go for, for under 500 bucks. We see up top, we've got the OnePlus 5T reviewer's guide. I'm a reviewer. I won't need that, hopefully. Inside, we have the unit itself. Let's get this guy out of there. Very, very nice. And of course, we've got a bunch of cases. That is super nice that OnePlus has decided to throw out. We've got some wood, some red, which I think is the dopest. And you can kind of see the cutout right there. That means the fingerprint sensor is moving to the back, which is a big change. OnePlus 5T Midnight Black, 128 gigs. Makes the first incision. That is always nice. OnePlus 5T right on the side to let us know that we have the new updated version. Okay, that is looking very nice. And one of the biggest problems, or I guess not really problems, issues that I had with the OnePlus 5, that was it just looked a bit dated, especially in 2016. It didn't have the edge to edge display, the entire body. It seemed like a flagship that's come out maybe in 2015, 2016. The OnePlus 5T of course changes that. We have a six inch display with an 18 by nine aspect ratio. And let me just grab my OnePlus 5 here as that boots up. Oh, it also has a face lock functionality. So now you can actually look at the phone on top of having the fingerprint sensor on the back, just like the new iPhone 10 X. A lot of phones now they have facial recognition. There it is, never settle. And from the front facing view, you can see how nice this display looks. It looks more modern, it looks more updated. We don't have that fingerprint sensor like we see on the OnePlus 5 on the front. And of course on the back, that is exactly where it is, right dab in the middle, exactly where it should be in my opinion. So just exactly like the OnePlus 5, which actually had one of the fastest fingerprint sensors that I've used, it also kind of continues that trend with a new one, except just now on the back. So we've got the phone right here, finger right here and go. That is quick. Quickly looking at the display, unless of course you've got something else beside it, you really can't tell that this is a 1080p panel. To me, it looks great, colors look awesome. I am totally on board with this, and I actually recommended the OnePlus 5 as probably the best budget option. And when I say budget, I should actually say it's a mid-range smartphone just because of the price, it's around five to 600 bucks, but it has the internals of, of course, flagships that we see on the market now. The latest and greatest chipsets, it's got eight gigs of RAM. Everything that you throw at this guy, you will be able to crush without any problems. And I'll of course be testing out that main camera on the back and all of the goodies of the new OnePlus 5T. And of course, here is a quick little comparison against its now older, older brother, the OnePlus 5. Physically, other than the fingerprint sensor being move to the back and of course the screen being slightly larger. I can't tell too much off of first glance, but make sure you stay posted, I guess, for my full review of this guy. I'll take this out tonight when I hit up the bar, test out the low light performance of the camera, take a ton of pictures and I will report back with my full review. So make sure you stay posted. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of exclusive unboxing. I hope this should be okay to post. I don't see why not. I'll catch the rest of you in my next episode or vlog. Peace.